everyone, it's Terry. Thanks for joining me again. I'm sorry it's been a little while. I have an unboxing for you today, which is really exciting. Um, I have seen so many videos and so many photos on Instagram and everything about this deck and I just had to have it. I'm talking, of course, about the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. I have seen pictures and stuff online and these cards just blow me away. They are amazingly beautiful. So I wanted to get the deck for myself and I thought I'd do a bit of unboxing for you. Um, I have taken the shrink wrap off already and I did open the box and take the shrimp, shrink, blah, blah, shrink wrap off the cards as well, but I haven't looked at anything. This is by Deborah Blake. As I said, it is a Llewellyn deck. Um, it's the usual 78 cards and it has a 216 page book. The only complaint that I've heard about this deck is that the card stock is really crap, really terrible. Um, so that remains to be seen. When I heard the name of Deborah Blake, I thought it sounded really familiar. I'm just going to keep adjusting my camera. I'm sorry. Um, I thought it sounded really, really familiar and I realized why is because I bought her everyday witchcraft book um, some time ago. I can't even remember if I've even read this yet or at least all the way through. I've read it part of the way by the looks of things. Got a bookmark in there. Um, but obviously it rang for something for me. Um, so I decided to get the deck as well. So let's get on to the deck. This is the box. It has a magnificent magnetic closure which I love so I won't be getting rid of the box for sure. Um, I do like to put some of my tarot decks in bags but generally that's only if they don't have a really decent box um, because otherwise I do just like to keep them in their original packaging um, simply because it makes it easy to tell them apart. At the back of this box says black cats pointed hats and magic brooms too. Favorable fortunes for curious witches. A fun practical easy to use tarot kit for every witch. Charming images pair with simple explanations to make this the go-to deck for anyone seeking to learn or practice the tarot. Based on the classic Rider Waite deck but updated for the busy modern witch, this tarot has a whimsical air while still being dedicated to the serious job of providing answers to life's tough questions. So there's the book. It looks really cool. Oh! Oh, the book is in full colour. So it's like full colour print. That's awesome. That is super cool. Okay, so let's see what's in the book. Okay, so we've got an introduction and then chapter one, how to use the deck, how to do a reading. Um, chapter two is common questions and answers. Some tarot extras, three spells for use with the tarot. That's really cool. And then it goes into the major arcana and it's got yeah, two to three pages, probably about two pages. Yeah, two pages per card. And then there's some pages have room for notes if you want to take any notes in your book. Then it goes through to my camera falling over. You just have to, I think, acknowledge me and appreciate this video is going to be wonky. Because <laughs> I can't seem to get it to stay there. I've got blue tack gobbed under it so it stays up and it's not. Just wants to fall over. And then we go into the minor arcana and lots of room for notes in there as well. Then we're going into some different spreads. So one card, three card, Celtic cross. So no new spreads there. That's pretty, that's all right though. And there's a conclusion at the back, which is nice by Deborah. Awesome. That's super exciting. I'm gonna love reading this. I just love the, I, the fact that it's full colour. That just makes me so happy. Okay, the cards. Let's have a look. There's a cute little, if I can hold this up without all the cards falling out, let's have a go. There's a cute little pull thing here to lift the cards out, little ribbon, which not a lot of boxes have that, by the way. I think the last one that I had that had that is like the Wild Unknown, maybe. It's not real common. Maybe it's more common than I think or realize. Oh, these are really cool. Okay, I'll show you a couple of them. I'm not going to show you every card, but I'll show you a couple of them. Here's our fool. She is having so much fun there. She does not give a damn. She's cool. <laughs> oh, and the backing. The backing is super cute. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Okay, what else have we got here? Magician. Cool. Some of these cards I've seen before, so obviously I'm not like, oh my god, this is amazing, but some of them I haven't seen before, so there's our High Priestess. Um, I'll flip through a few here. Um, oh, the Hermit, one of my favourite cards. She's super zen. Hanged Man, he's hanging by his broom. Temperance. The Tower, that's a bit cheeky. <laughs> Star. If you know me at all and watch my last videos, um, you'll know that I pick decks based on the star imagery. And that's just beautiful. I love it. And the moon. The moon's a fantastic card. That's just gorgeous. Oh, this is very, um, why is that not coming to me? Wizard of Oz. This is very Dorothy, Wizard of Oz-esque. I like it. Then we go into the suits. I'll just pick out a couple of them because I'm not going to sit here all day and show you every card because then you won't want to buy it. Seven of Cups. Oh, bit of glare there, sorry. Oh, Nine of Cups. She's she's enjoying her time. Her time out there. Oh, Queen of Cups is amazing. Wow. I love the cat. There's a cat in like every picture. That's cool. I like that touch. <laughs> I think we've all had a, this moment. <laughs> oh, an Eight of Swords. So as you can see, it is very Rider weight based. I mentioned the cardstock before. Yeah, it's super thin. Um, really flimsy, really crap cardstock, really. And that is kind of disappointing considering the amount of effort that's gone into the amazing artwork, the amazing book, and the phenomenal box. <laughs> um, it's, you know, there's this, you know, you go to all this trouble to, to make and present a deck beautifully, like with the magnetic closure on a box. Like that's not, I mean, it might be cheap to do, but it's not exactly standard. Um, and then you create a full color guidebook, which is again probably not hugely expensive to the publisher, but it, you know, it's it's uncommon. That's the word I was looking for. Uncommon. You've got these beautiful images by this amazing artist, um, and it's let down with shitty cardstock, which is really disappointing. Um, I hope they bring it out again and they bring it out with like a different card, a thicker card stock because that would just, that would make this deck perfect to me if it was a thicker card stock. It's very, very, very thin. <laughs> it's like flying away thin. But I love these cards anyway. They are stunning. Oh, nine of pence. That's just my chill zone, that is. Oh, she looks so wise. Queen of Pence. Stunning. Oh, these cards are beautiful. Okay. Um, my first impressions is this is a beautiful, beautiful deck. It's presented beautifully. Um, it's like no shortcuts have been taken um, except for the cardstock. It's just beautiful. And one thing I've only just noticed which is crazy. Um, it's borderless. There's no border on these images. So I think most of the decks I have, most of them at least, are they have borders. Um, so it's kind of nice to have a variation of that and have a borderless deck instead. I hope you've enjoyed this. I am just blown away by the art on this deck and the, the packaging is phenomenal. Um, yeah, again, just the cardstock is a, a slight issue, but I've just got to be not rough with them. <laughs> I I do, well, no, I'm not really rough with my cards. I, I can be at times. It's more my kids who are rough with the cards. But um, these are, these are just beautiful. I do recommend getting them if you like the artwork and you can handle crappy cardstock. Um, 
I mean, I go on and on about the cardstock. It's really not that big an issue for me. I know it is for some people. Um, but for me, it's just, it is what it is. Um, that being said, if they did bring out a second edition with the thicker cardstock, then I would definitely pick it up and probably pass this along to a friend or something. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, just while I'm here too, I will note that I have changed my business, business, it is a business kind of thing, business slash hobby. Um, the name, there's Hendrix. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mooch. I have changed my business name, so it's still, my channel is still my name, but then it has um, Bacana Cottage, um, which is like a combination, it's a long story, it's probably on my website somewhere, it's like, I can't, can't really remember, um, but I, we named our house Bacana Cottage because we've got a beautiful silver birch tree out the front of our house, and I had House of Aquarius Tarot going as well. And it was just too much for me with my work and with like my everyday day job and my kids and family life um, to maintain two websites. So I decided to combine it all into one into Burkana Cottage. Um, and I now have all my tarot readings and stuff there as well. Um, so if you're looking for me, House of Aquarius, um, so I think, yeah, houseaquarius.com now should if it doesn't, it will by the time I've uploaded this video. Um, it should take you to berkanacottage.com. Um, otherwise, you can just find me at berkanacottage.com and I'll put the link down below as well. Um, I think that's all I had to update you with. Um, I can't think of anything else and I probably will after I finish this video and start um, <laughs> editing. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me again and um, I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.